Stay tuned after this video to see individual component programming. Hello and welcome to Smart Caregiver Programming Instructions for the 433CMU Central Monitor Unit. To begin, we will need either four C-size batteries or an AC adapter to provide power to the monitor. For this video, we will be using batteries. Remove the cover to the battery compartment and insert the batteries into the back of the monitor. Welcome! After the batteries have been inserted, then replace the battery cover over the compartment. Here is a quick overview of the buttons on the central monitor. The reset button. This button will reset the alarm and silence the monitor. The call review button. This button can be pressed to review the previous components that have set off the central monitor. Volume. This button will change the volume of the central monitor. Voice slash tone. This button will change the tone to various options and languages. New components and program components. These buttons are used for programming components into the central monitor. Lock slash unlock. This switch should be kept in the lock position unless you are programming the central monitor. Call slash alarm. This switch will turn the sound of the central monitor to either the alarm noise or one of the various call alerts. Base and mounting bracket. The base of the monitor can detach to create a mounting bracket for the back so that it can easily be installed onto a wall. Now that you have an idea of the functionality of the central monitor, we can begin with programming. First, extend the antenna on the monitor. Next, make sure that the component or components you will be programming into the monitor are close by. After all components are nearby and ready to program, you must make sure that the lock slash unlock switch is in the unlock position. If no components are programmed into the central monitor, you will see numbers scrolling across the screen. To start programming, you will press and hold the program components button for two beeps and a tone. Once the tone sounds, you can program your first component. Number one. After you set off the first component, you will wait until you hear a tone. Once you hear the tone, you can activate your second component. Number two. Continue to wait for the tone before you program your next component until you are done with all of your components. Number three. Once you are done programming all components, then place the lock slash unlock switch on the monitor to the lock position. With the monitor in the lock position, press the reset button on the front of the monitor. Test all components to ensure proper programming. To add components to a central monitor with previously programmed components, you must start by moving the lock slash unlock switch to the unlock position. Press and hold the add slash replace new components button for two beeps and a tone. Then quickly press and release the program components button once. The display will show you the number of the last component programmed into the central monitor. You will wait until you hear a tone from the monitor to let you know that you can begin programming. Activate the new component that you wish to program into the next available numbered position. Wait for the acceptance tone before programming the next component. Once you are done with programming, you then will move the lock slash unlock switch to the lock position. With the monitor in the lock position, you will press the reset button once. Now you can test all of the components that you just added to your central monitor. To replace components in the central monitor with new components, you must first start by moving the lock slash unlock switch to the unlock position. Press and hold the add slash replace new components button for two beeps and a tone. Now press the call review button until the central monitor displays the number of the component that you wish to replace. Number two. 
With the number that you wish to replace selected, you will then activate the new component. Two. The central monitor will say the number of the component that you just replaced. Once you are done with programming, you then will move the lock slash unlock switch to the lock position. With the monitor in the lock position, you will press the reset button once. Now you can test the component that you just added to the central monitor. Test unit by pressing the button on the front. You will see a red light when the call button is pressed. To program the 433MS motion sensor, first turn the motion sensor on. Now wave your hand in front of the motion sensor until you see a light blink on the front of the motion sensor. This will send a signal to the receiving monitor. Then you can turn your motion sensor off. To activate the 433EXT for programming, simply remove the two pieces apart from each other. Wait two seconds and then realign the two parts so the arrows are touching again. To activate your pad for programming, take your pad and place pressure onto it for two seconds, then remove pressure from the pad. This will activate the pad and send a signal to the receiving monitor. To activate your floor pressure pad, step onto the mat and then step off of the mat. This will send a signal to the receiving monitor. To activate your pad for programming, take your pad and place pressure onto it for two seconds, then remove pressure from the pad. This will activate the pad and send a signal to the receiving monitor. For more information on available products, please find us at smartcaregiver.com or call us at 800-650-3637.